Bringing you a video today of a recent trip to Cloudland Canyon State Park where we camped out over the weekend and helped Georgia DNR by volunteering to do bat netting overnight at several locations. My wife and I rode up on our Ural motorcycles. If you'd like to learn more about our sidecar motorcycles, you can check out our Gone Uraling channel to see more of our adventures and learn about the bikes. Here we arrive at Cloudland Canyon and we get checked in and we're going to go find us a campsite and get set up for our camping adventure over the weekend. Now the bat netting and research that we do is with Georgia DNR and there were also students sent from UGA that were interns uh, working on their college degrees and learning about netting, bats, and bat research. Now this is the yearly bat blitz in Georgia. Uh, a bat blitz is where they pick a central location to base their operations and then they go out to multiple sites and do bat surveys and there's multiple teams going out in the evenings doing this and the bat surveys are there to judge the health of the bats, the number of bats, the different species that are in the areas and this information is tallied and used for research. The research is used to determine the health of the bat population and the counts that are out there and what uh, obstacles and challenges the bat populations may be facing in specific areas. We hope you enjoy the upcoming video which shows us going out setting up nets and actually goes through the procedure of measuring a bat and going through all of the checks. Well guys, we're volunteering to help the Georgia DNR with a little bit of bat netting. Uh, we're not actually handling the bats, but we're here helping them set nets up and survey the area. Uh, one of the structures here at Cloudland Canyon Park has bats in it. That's what you see up there. They're getting ready to come out for the evening. And uh, looks like a, probably, if I had to guess, 30 to 50 of them in there. Now there could be a lot more. I, I can't tell how densely packed they are, but uh, they're definitely in there. So we're going to be netting them and completing some paperwork and documentation just to show what kind of bats are around in this area. I think Greg, our biology professor, might be a little over anxious, but that's okay. The bats get tangled in the fine mist netting that's spread across strategic locations. Then they're carefully placed in a paper bag without harming them and shuttled back to a location where measurements and weight and other information is recorded. This net was primarily catching big brown pregnant females, so we took this net down fairly quickly to prevent capturing more and unnecessarily stressing them. We have to check the nets every eight minutes for captures. Here Greg is surveying the net with a flashlight to see if we've had any captures. 45. More bats in the net. So we have one bat that was captured that has white nose. We think. Possible. Yeah. Are you okay? Point five. How do we do on data? What do we need? Uh, we just need the. Um, this is oh, the bag. Bag. Yeah. The potential. So we don't have our light. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is this is an adult. Hey, I don't know yet. Uh, okay. It probably is. This way. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Ah, red bat. Mm. There was some jagged pieces on one of the um, wings. He has some stuff going on the trailing edge there. Let's see. Okay, let's see, buddy. Oh, Yeah, that's trailing edge is different. 
I think. So why yeah. is it in the, in the You um, can see those specks, those dark specks, are look like a pin prick or an injury. Mm -hmm. um, like it's a scar much But like yeah, I want to really look at this form to see if there's any... But what about... Uh, what's going on right there? Hmm. That was a uh, deterioration or another tear. I don't know either. That's a yeah. So, um, with reds, you want to keep their wings uh, controlled. They flap uh, uncontrollably. Look at me again, so. Hmm. It's very suspectful. Yeah. yeah, good good call. Let me look at your potassium. Um, you're keeping like a big little burrito right in the corner of your hand right there. You can let them peek out like your, with your thumb. You can keep them right in there. Right at me. And when you hold them uh, with your thumb, uh, just be mindful mm -hmm. not to press too hard on their neck mm -hmm. or on their, uh, their upper care. back because you can unconsciously put too much pressure and collapse their little lungs. Okay. So just enough, just enough to keep them right there, but uh, not too hard. Okay. So we take um, um. species, uh, sex, age, reproduction, so you can turn them around. You can see his, uh, his belly. And you can sometimes scruff them just to keep them right there and Ow. maneuver them however you need to. I'm going to get the UV light. Okay. Girl? Yeah. Right. And uh, check her nipple area, see if uh, she's breeding or not. They can be kind of difficult. Um, so. Way to stop. Oh, needle. Yeah. So you can just hold them right there. Okay. And you. Uh, yeah. But I'm not putting too much pressure no, on like it. Keeping them still. You got poop right where I want to see. <laughs> poop you can. Nipples. Yeah. You can see your nipples there. Uh, Looks like she's got some milk forming under there. Yeah, it looks like her nipples uh, kind of inflamed and engorged. Bit, yeah. So I would say she's pregnant. You can some on the when they come along, it, you, their bellies feel firmer. Mm -hmm. But then if they've eaten really well, um, they can feel the same way to me <laughs> at least. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So you want to call mm -hmm. it? Uh, yeah, female pregnant. Yeah, you know, adult. Wing. There you go. So now, um, while she's like that, you can grab that outside wing and very carefully open it up. Uh, hold it up to my flashlight and you can see if there's any scars or pinholes. <laughs> so that one looks, looks good. good. Mm -hmm. Zero. Uh, well, we gotta look at the other one. Okay. Stop. Stop. Trying to maneuver my yeah. finger around. <laughs> Oh, biting me. Thank you. Just be careful when you're pulling uh, yeah. her body one way yeah. and the wing the other. Yeah. And that one looks good, good too. Yeah. Alright, so um, that would be a zero. Zero. And arm length. Arm length. So um, it's easiest to put her back on her stomach, right in uh, your little, uh, between your thumb. You want to yeah. measure her right forearm. Okay. Holding it just like that is fine. Okay. And so you can grab the, uh, yeah. or can I do? Um, the centimeter side. And we're going to measure in millimeters. So always remember when you're pressing on a bat like that, mm -hmm. that if you press too hard, you will separate their spinal column. Okay. And you also can press so hard on their, their little chest that they can't fill their lungs. Okay. So you will kill them. Okay. And I say that strongly. Because even when I've said it, people have killed him right in front of me. Because okay. you get nervous. Yeah. That's why you need to know. <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you for telling me. You're welcome. And that's why you constantly got to check them mm -hmm. until you yeah. get yes. Yeah. So, good. Yeah, yeah, and she's good. Yeah, but I just don't want you to get nervous yeah. as you're focusing on measuring that you pressed too hard. Yeah. So 40. Yep. Is it 40? 40. There. Yeah. Is there anything That's else? It. That's it. And you looked at wing index zero? Yep. Mm -hmm. Zero. Okay. So, so when you let it back, go ahead, Jennifer. <laughs> okay. Never mind. So when you let it back go, you want to hold them as high as possible and mm -hmm. let them go on their own power. Okay. You don't throw them or try, to, try and push them off. You just let them sit there and take their own flight. So lift your hand as high, high as you can go, okay. especially if they've been sitting still like that. And then watch like them. That. Yeah, and watch them uh, you like fly to away. Sure. And yeah. she's good. She's going. Yeah, that way that... Oh.